On your back foot, you're on your tippy. White crane spreads its wings, the baby finger passes through the edge of your left shoulder. Drop your front foot, bicep your body, look back at your back hand that's higher. Bring it to your ear, set up your heel, soft and hard. Sit back, out, look at your back hand, look at your ear, soft and hard. Sit back, out, look at your back hand, bring it to your ear, soft and hard. Sit back, out, look at your back hand, bring it to your ear, soft and hard. Sit back, out, look at your back hand, bring it to your ear, Soft and hard. Sit back, out. Look at your back hand, bring it to your ear. Soft and hard. Soft and hard. Okay, watch one more time. It has to do with soft and hard and how I bring it to my ear, which is a little bit not too good. Look at my back hand, bring it to my ear. Soft and hard. <clears throat> now, look at this way, and this is where I want you to try to see the difference. To see the difference first. <coughs> look at my back hand. Bring it to my ear. Soft and hard. One more time. The correct way. Look at my back hand. Bring it to my ear. I didn't change my formation of my fingers. All it did was turn this way so it looks like it, but then I did the hard. Get it? Yes. So am I opening my fingers a little bit more? I don't think I am. But because I'm using this portion and rotating it slightly, it does make a diminution. But when, that's really a good point, and I'm not sure if it was in there, and you're, you're, I'll give you the benefit if you're in the front because you're in the front. But well, the point I want to make is that, look, if I'm looking at my back hand, it's already curved. I'm not moving my fingers to bring it to my to make that soft. All I'm doing is changing the uh, orientation of rotation, rotation, but then it's hard I'm doing that because I'm using this part. It's hard. Yeah, I'm using this part where the energy is coming this way and then I'm lifting it over there. But the curvature of my hand, if we could somehow get a mold, never change from here to here, only when it went far. And even if it went far, I don't think it changed. It's the energy that pushed it up. But the curvature, which I'm driving at, is the same. So if you followed me so far, what I see is people trying to adapt and change to what I'm saying. But they are already out like this. So you need to soften it up, bring it to your ear, rotate it, keep it this way. Just bend that, that uh, elbow. You don't bring that elbow in, then bend. Okay? So can you do it with me? I, I, wanna, I want you to come away from this class knowing the difference. Look at your back hand. Just bring the, the upper hand to your ear. Bend your elbow, bring it to your ear. One more time and then we're going to do the wrong. Look at your back hand and bring it to your ear. Now, you're going to bring your elbow to like this. Can you just do this to or bring this in? This is wrong by bringing this in. So let's do it wrong. Bring it in, bring it to your ear. You see this all crunched up over here? We don't want that. 
Let's erase that in that off of our mind. Extend this upper elbow. Bend the elbow, bring it to our ear. Open up. Bring it to our ear. Open up. Bring it to our ear. That's what I want. What's stable? Show me. The elbow to the under arm. That's stable. This, the top portion is the only thing that's moving. All right, now, bring it to your ear. Now, soft, curve that fingers. Then push that out with the stem or palm of your hand. One more time. Bring it to your ear. Soft. Push like you're kicking on the stem, not the toe and not the finger. One more time and then we're moving on. Bring it to your ear. Soft. Like a kick out, you use your stem and your palm and that's hard. Okay.